approved source. And what is, approved, what is an approved source, you might ask? Well, an approved source is a facility that is licensed and inspected for compliance with all state, local, and federal laws. So, number one, you want to purchase your food from a licensed, licensed uh, distributor. So here we are at the loading dock of the market. This is a typical location where delivery trucks will pull up, an employee would come out to receive the product, inspect, and prior to storing the food product. So as you can see, this facility has just received a delivery. The manager is now inspecting the products, and these are the things that he needs to look for. So one of the things that you want to keep an eye out for when receiving potentially hazardous food, all potentially hazardous food should be either be received at 41 degrees and below, or 135 degrees and above. That's when your thermometer comes into play and you have to take food temperatures. Frozen food should be frozen at the time of delivery. If you see any signs of thawing, such as fluid in the packaging, ice crystals, or water stained packages, then you should reject those products. If the food has an abnormal color, an odd smell, or just smells bad, then don't take them. Send those back. Now when looking at the packaging, you want to make sure that the boxes are clean and in good condition, not dented, not torn. Cans should be um, should not be swollen or dented. Any can, any packaging that has signs of infestation of any vermin should be rejected, as well as if the use by date has passed, or if the boxes or packaging is damp or water stained. Now, to all you managers, to make your receiving process a little bit easier, I have some quick tips for you. Number one, you want to schedule your deliveries one at a time and schedule them so they're not delivered during your peak hours. Number two, you wanna make sure you have enough staff that are trained on the receiving process so they can quickly and promptly receive, inspect, and store the incoming product. And number three, you wanna provide sufficient thermometers for your employees and train them on how to use them to inspect your deliveries for proper food temperature. Here we are at a local Long Beach commissary. This is a uh, location where the ice cream trucks within the area will buy from an approved source, one of the sources that the health department will periodically inspect. If you want to know whether or not we inspect this facility, all of our facilities will have what's called an inspection summary report, which is posted right here. This is our inspection summary report. This shows that this facility has been inspected um, on on this date, and uh, if there are any any issues or any problems that need to be corrected, um, then we get they get reinspected. And there are 14 categories that we look at. One of them is food source and labeling, which is what we looked at today. So we look make sure that you that this facility is producing from approved sources. Okay, so now you might be wondering. What is all this idea about approved source or unapproved source? Well, an approved source is a location or facility where the health department inspects on a periodic basis to make sure the food is stored and prepared safely. An unapproved source, the health department has no way of knowing whether or not a certain type of food is prepared in a safe, sanitary environment if the place is unapproved, meaning it does not have a permit. For instance, someone who might make food in their house and then sell the food on the streets, well, that would be considered an unapproved source. These facilities, someone's home, cannot be inspected by the health department, and we really have no way of knowing whether the food is safe or unsafe. We just have to assume that it's not uh, safe enough to bring to the public. The health department conducts regular sweeps of the city uh, in response to complaints received by the public and licensed food facilities uh, regarding unlicensed vendors. And we respond to these complaints by driving around the city and looking for these vendors. At the time we find the vendors, we confiscate all of their equipment and food because the food does not come from an approved source. Approved source meaning a facility that is licensed and inspected for food safety. 
The food sold by the unlicensed vendors oftentimes is prepared at home and those homes are not inspected for sanitation, food handling, oftentimes the food is held at improper temperatures and may be contaminated which could lead to serious foodborne illnesses. One of the food items that we often see is cut fruit and fruit that is cut here on the street it's cut by vendors who don't have any hand washing facilities. Um, cut melons are potentially hazardous meaning they can be can cause foodborne illnesses if held at the wrong temperatures and oftentimes there is no refrigeration available for these vendors. 